In Creo Parametric 10, we have added an ability to split an existing harness into two separate parts. This capability is intended to support harness reuse and collaboration in a sense that multiple people can work simultaneously on different portions of a harness or reuse them in similar routed systems. To showcase the new tool, I have created a simplified representation of my model so it will be easier to see the routed harnesses. Splitting works on the active harness part, so let's first activate the desired harness. A new tool is available in the harness ribbon group inside the cabling application. The first thing you need to do inside the tool is to define a split location and the direction. Highlighted wires indicate the portion that will be split into a new part. There are two types of splitting that can be done, dependent and independent. The dependent split type creates two continuous harness parts in the same assembly that share the same split location and cabling information, including logical and spools. The dependent split harness acquires its cabling information from the original harness it was split from, limiting its modifications to routing new cables or modifying the existing ones. The original harness part acts as the parent. It stores all the cabling information that is not stored in the top assembly, such as from two information and harness part features that are not necessarily cabling entities. At any time, Dependency can be removed by clicking on the Remove Harness Dependency command available in the contextual menu of the dependent harness part. External simplified representations can be leveraged to work separately on each harness portion in the same top assembly. The second split type is independent. An independent split type creates a new harness part that contains all the needed information to reuse in a different assembly. Unlike dependent split type, from two information and a split location are not shared. Independent harness can be created in a new subassembly and all the cabling information from the original harness part will be automatically copied, including spools, logical information and a skeleton. You can also move all of the reference components to a new subassembly to be used independently of the original harness assembly. Both dependent and independent harnesses cannot be flattened as a homogeneous harness after the split. This is why, after the harness design is complete, it's recommended to merge the split harness portions back into a single harness using the new Merge Harness tool. You can select any harness and merge into the active one. Merging is done by cables or wires named, so you need to make sure the naming is consistent in both parts for any newly routed wires or cables before merging. You can also choose to move spools, reference components and a skeleton into the active harness assembly. When merging with independent harness, segments will not be auto-merged as they are with dependent because there is no shared split location. For now, merging the segment has to be done manually by redefining the end location of one segment and placing it on the end location of the other segment. This is something we are looking to automate in the future. I hope these new tools will make collaborative harness development more productive and easier. We are looking into enhancing its capabilities further in the future releases and I will be glad to hear your feedback and suggestions on our community forums.